Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to YOLO, You Only Live Once, a Space Engineer's Survival Playthrough with Permadeath. This is Season 2. This should be Episode, I believe, 14. And I'm going to start right off the bat by saying, if you're looking at this, you're like, wait a minute, this is not where we left off. And you're absolutely right. When we last left off, we were traveling back to our asteroid base uh, with our bulky den that we had captured and uh, I arrived at the base but as I arrived at the base I had a new platform pop up and in when I went to take a look at it uh, there was another contact that popped up that was a mining outpost. I decided to go take a look at it. We are still short of some of those resources we've talked about so I, uh, I thought I would check it out just to see if it was uh, worth coming over and possibly capturing. I have captured one of these before in a previous playthrough months and months and months ago, and some things didn't quite look right on it. Um, it did not spawn in cleanly. I went ahead and captured this outpost with the intentions of not coming back here because this was, again, it's a place, it's a grid that I have experienced before and uh, it was interesting uh, the capturing process and I'll, I'll show you guys here in a minute but because we have so few like backup saves set in our advanced settings we had three I didn't realize that I had taken enough time to erase the previous save before I came over here uh, I had gone too long so it had been written over so I apologize for being somewhere, us coming back in when doing something that I wasn't actually planning, uh, I, I wasn't intending for us to actually come and take this place. So I apologize for that, but moving on, we have to move on. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the series and the channel. Uh, remember, if you like these videos, hit that thumbs up and the subscribe and notification bell so you can see when we got new stuff coming out. Please leave comments if you got suggestions, questions. Uh, observations I want to hear we'll go ahead and get started I'll start our 45 minute timer and as you can see I am sitting down in this lovely living area sort of do you see that on the side there if you look over here there's someone over here inside. because we're actually sitting inside the voxels and when I back out you'll see what I'm talking about that's the chair I'm sitting in this whole area, in order to be usable, I have got the med bay, which I needed because I would have run out of power. This whole area is uh, filled with voxels, so, um, like I said, the original plan was not to not to uh, do this, but let me go ahead and turn the block on. that so we have an actual airlock and I will show you what we have here oh I did get rid of them darn it so that's the that's the contact that I originally came out to see um, anyway so I came around here and I saw that it did look like there's a hangar in here uh, a work area whatnot uh, it's actually a, a neat design. It really is. It's a cool design. Um, like I said, I've just experienced it before uh, and, and knew that it wasn't going to be something that we were going to stick with. I can't remember what is right here. Uh, but I was just looking around and seeing if there was some way to, you know, maybe get in. Because I know this thing is where it was. And I found this hole. And if you go in this hole, uh, you end up in here. And there is an extensive cavern section in this. So, let me see if I can remember the way. It wasn't up. That's down, and that's 
that's down. So we should, there we go. Okay. So if we follow this. This is it. Uh, oh, that's a dead end. Oh, I know that's the other way around. Okay. So we should be back out in the cavern. That might be it. Um, I just want to make sure I'm back in the right spot. It's very easy. That's why there's a, a GPS point at the entrance. Okay, so that was the top. So down. And this very easy to. There you go. Okay, so we come in here, and there's this cavern legs of the base are in here, but guess what else is also in here? The remote control. So I just kind of like, well, I wonder if that would actually take over the base, and sure enough, it took over the base. So, again, wasn't the original intention. Uh, and I drilled my way up here, which leads, goes further this way, and it goes out this way to the walkway that leads up to this door that we just came out so, we technically own this grid. I'm not going to do anything more with it. It wasn't the plan. You know what? Maybe another time we will find ourselves in need of it and we'll use it. But I, that is not that was not my intention. And I'm sorry, guys. We are heading back to the asteroid base. We got some stuff we need to do before we start heading off. Okay, so now that we're back, we are going to, I'm going to see if I can dock. Might be possible, may not be possible. Throw the inertial dampers on. 
Too bad. We still have to uh, set up all the controls for the bulky van. We are going to disconnect. Landing gear. Sorry about that again. So a couple things we need to do. Um, we fixed our turret. We do have some damage over here uh, that came from our rocket launcher because it doesn't know when to aim high and when to aim low. So we're going to straighten these out. there. That's fixed. So this is beat up. That ah, looks like we only lost a little bit. That's not too bad. Just making sure. Whoop. Do we have damage? Ah, we did. I think I may need to replace a fin there. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, See what I've got. I don't have any of that. Throw that in there. Grab a couple steel plates. A ah, hundred will do. Get this one taken care of. And then we'll add the fin here on the back. Right. Okay. So now that we got that uh, straightened out, kind of a little bit of warpage there. Okay. We're all good. Now, the bulky bin. Let's take a quick look at this. Um, take these plates back. the benefits of the bulky bin. The bulky bin has way more cargo space. I'm not even going to bother mentioning the thrusters because that's a given. Let's find out what we got on board. Do we have a refinery? not. We do not have an assembler, although we have a survival kit. We have lots of oxygen. We have a lot of hydrogen, but we use hydrogen engines. It does have some batteries. So... <clears throat> Let's 
So we're missing some refining capability as well as production. Uh, production capability is what we're basically missing. Now, if I were to remove that, we would have room there to run a... We could run uh, a basic refinery. basic refinery here. shower sorry I had to sneeze there guys let's find out what we got here so where the shower is yep there's our catwalk on that side. Here's the shower and the bathroom. I'm going to say these are not priorities. Nice there. We're going to need ice in our O2 H2 gens. Can I move that there? I cannot. They are not connected. So that's in the back. Hmm. Okay. It's good to know. Finding things out. All right. Put that back. We're not getting any air in this space because there's no ice in this generator. If we were to put ice in here, we'd be fine. It just seems like an extra step to have to do. So this one is connected to the oxygen system in the back. Stairs. Okay, but we also we we were talking about refining and such. So let's let's see what we got. We know that those these are completely unnecessary. They're they're not required. We know this is just a 
the doorway. There's a crack there, but it's airtight. And then we've got an armory over here. Again, not necessary. But I'm still surprised that that is not, because we got a pipe there. We have, ah, uh, this is where things get, get convoluted. Storage, storage. So it is not a part of this large cargo container system. The front is separated. It is completely separated. So let's see what we got here. Conveyor. Don't know what that was. Hydrogen engine. O2H2 Gen. Okay. So those bottles should be getting filled. So we got a couple extra in there. What can I put back here to make this usable? be able to process stuff. We do have openings there. Are they open on the front also? No, they're not. Okay. So we've got an opening here and on the other side also we can tap off of if we want to put an assembler. We can take this right here and we can put our we can put a refinery. We could also put an assembler there. anytime soon. Maybe a program block. So if we put a basic refinery there. That will allow us to actually process much of the um, much of the ore that we collect uh, when we bring our miner along. So that'll help our cause. far enough. Um, let's see. Turn the 
this off because we don't need it on right now. All right, they're May Day, and we're gonna go check it out, guys. I just want to see what's going on, so let's go see what the uh, the Murakaz considers a threat. We need some Get the top off here. Oh, <laughs> that's that gunboat, man, yeah, he's screwed, he is screwed, <clears throat> if that gunboat catches him. that block in there we can put a um, a reactor in there which I think would be a great idea uh, I do want to go ahead and get some ice in here which is probably gonna be best done with this so we're gonna take everything here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put it in. Large cargo container. There we with those thruster components we don't have to worry about uh, we shouldn't have to worry about platinum for a little bit it gives us a little bit of a reprieve um, okay we do need ice that's what we need we need ice let's see We're not going to have the, the same amount of protection um, as the Irresistible gives us, but we are going to have um, shoot, I wonder if it would be oh yeah. one thing I don't I'm not thrilled about with this design is this sunken in connector 
that just that makes it extremely difficult to connect. And we could put a connector on this side here. We could do that. We could also put a connector here. The only problem with this is that it does not, again, it does not connect to anything else. <laughs> take one of these off to fill everything with ice. stretch of the imaginations. Got a little bit of, okay. Like I said, not, not the best. And it actually gets in the way of our gun if we need it. It's really not good. So we'll have to figure something out. guys. still need to find the place for the assembler. That's what we need. I mean, I could put the assembler back here. It's not great. This will kind of protect the assembler. It won't be as exposed. Sorry, the reason I did that is because I want to make sure that the right it is actually it's connected to both that conveyor in the back as well as this hydrogen engine so So while we cannot refine larger things, like some of the, <coughs> like those rarer materials that we, we do want to find, um, 
we can do basic other stuff. So let's go ahead and get, I need to get, excuse me, guys, I don't know what's going on. My throat pan. It's not that it's dry, it's just, this feels like I got something in my throat. Okay, we are going to take ice. I want this. We're gonna stick this in this com uh, this ice. What is that? Small cargo container. Yep. Stuck that in there. Do the same with the last bit. That will give us air up there. Yep. The rest will go in the rear cargo, which will be used to fill our hydrogen tank oxygen tanks. Just gotta make sure my drills and such won't hang over the thrusters. something coming. We may have to get out of here quick. Yeah, we should be safe. Ah, oh, we got Something's coming in. I don't know what it is, but it's coming in. We need to get the, the bin out of here. We'll let the missile pick, we'll let the, the other do its part. Now at this point, the smart thing to do would have been to go move our respawn ship to a little bit better position just in case this aggressive mod ship decided to come toward our base after attacking the wasp. Unfortunately, that is not the decision I made. He's going after the wasp. That's okay with me. Thought I might be able to take him out. Whoa! Nope. That was ugly. And just like that, season two of YOLO, You Only Live Once, a Space Engineer's survival playthrough on Permadeath, Season 2 comes to an end. Guys, 
I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I guess the only way I can really sum this up is I have learned uh, so much uh, playing these games, but that learning never stops. And in a recent discussion with one of our viewers in the comments, I brought up the fact that the longer this series went on, the more I forgot that we were playing a permadeath scenario. And I kind of went back to my regular, somewhat cavalier approach to playing the game. And that is one of the challenges of these series. Now granted, we're not playing permadeath as the way the game does it, where you can respawn. Our rules are, when you die, you're done. And that's what happened. So season two of YOLO is coming to an end. There are no immediate plans for a season three. That does not mean that a season three will not be in the future. Uh, it's just not gonna take place immediately. Uh, there are some other things I've seen that I would like to try to do and that I think might provide some good content. So in the meantime, I wanna thank everybody so much um, for watching this series, uh, for the likes, the views, and the comments. Um, there's been a lot of great engagement lately and I really do appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching this series. Don't worry, we will pick up a new series uh, to take YOLO's place. Uh, and again, YOLO may return in the future. So until then, thank you again. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and always be safe. And I will see you on the other side. But until then, I should go.